Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, sometimes you don't fancy a drink. Sometimes you feel, you know, you're either going to be the designated driver for the evening or you just don't fancy having anything alcoholic. Maybe you're doing um, Go Sober for October this month or maybe you've gone teetotal or you're just abstaining from alcohol a little bit. Well, that's where the low alcohol or alcohol free beers and ciders come into play. And Sheppies have uh, dipped their toes into this market as well. Today, I am going to be reviewing a bottle of their low alcohol classic cider. So, Sheppies, I have not featured uh, Sheppies for quite a while on this channel, but uh, they are a pretty decent cider company. They make some really good ciders. Be interesting to see what uh, the low alcohol version is like. I believe I bought this from Waitrose, but to be honest, it was quite a while ago, so I can't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure that you can pick it up in your local Waitrose stores and probably other places as well. So this is no more than 0.5% ABV, comes in 500ml glass bottles, as you can see here. I must admit, I do really like the look of the um, Sheppies bottles and the designs, you know, they're very eye-catching. Um, sort of simplistic, but yeah, they, they get the job done. So, every drop of Sheppies is expertly crafted by David Sheppy, the sixth generation master of cider. Wow, imagine being an MC and being called master of cider, that's great. From one of the oldest and most distinguished cider making families in the world. There you go. So, their low alcohol classic cider has all of the flavour of our traditional cider, but with less alcohol. Made with the carefully selected blend of Somerset's finest traditional and dessert apples to be just as delicious as our award-winning classic draft cider. A beautifully light and crisp low alcohol cider with plenty of refreshing apple flavour. Now, here's the thing. With most low alcohol beers and ciders, they do list the ingredients, which, to, uh, with transparency becoming a... Uh, uh, not an issue, but a debate um, or a topic that's arising in the cider world. It's always good to see ingredients on the back of this um, on the back of this bottle. So you're getting water, apple juice, Somerset cider, hmm. okay, sugar, acidity regulator, carbon dioxide, sodium metabisulfate, uh, and you can expect to have 28 calories per 100 mils in this bottle. So there you go. No artificial flavours or colours, suitable for vegans, contains sulfites for freshness. So there you go, that is what you're getting in this bottle, and you can obviously make an informed decision as to whether you actually want to go out and buy a bottle of this yourself. So, with that said, Okay, I'm not getting much on the nose there, so let's get this pulled out. Now, the thing I look for in a low alcohol or alcohol-free cider is that if it's a fairly decent one, it'll still taste like it's original cider and not just like a like a concentrated apple juice or something like that. So, be interesting to see how Sheppy's fares up. But before that, let's have a look at the colour. And as you can see, it is... Um, Pretty crystal clear, nice uh, light carbonation there, but uh, yeah, completely filtered. Very light straw colour there, looks quite nice. What's it smell of though? To be fair, not a lot. There's a slight sweet apple aroma there, but it is very subdued. Yeah, I am, I am not getting much on the nose at all actually. Hmm. Well, not much on the aroma, but what is the taste going to be like? Let's find out now. Cheers, everyone, and uh, here's to everyone doing Go Sober for October or whatever, you, whatever you're choosing. Here's to a Sheppies Low Alcohol Cider. Cheers. It's very sweet. Hmm, not sure. Okay, let's take one. Hmm, okay. Okay. Hmm. It's alright. Unfortunately, it does seem to have fallen into the category of it just tasting like apple juice. It's very sweet. They've obviously... It says in the ingredients, they've added sugar to it. You can definitely taste that. Um, 
definitely sugary sweet. And it's got that, um, that apple juice concentrate sort of taste to it. You know the one. Open up a carton of orange juice, you taste it. You're getting that in here with a little bit of uh, carbonation thrown into the mix. It's got quite a thick body behind it, but it's bordering on syrupy almost. Very sweet aftertaste as well. It's just sweetness all throughout. And yeah, I am getting that um, that sort of syrupy texture at the back of the throat where, you know, sugar has been added in. You do get that sometimes. Uh, there is also, strangely enough, a slight metallic hue behind things, which you normally only get in alcohol, like low alcohol uh, beer cans. Generally not in a bottle, but you are getting it here. There's nothing inherently bad about this, but... I suppose low alcohol or alcohol free cider is generally quite hard to uh, actually make any different from actually having just, you know, apple juice really. Uh, and unfortunately Sheppies hasn't really quite mastered this, uh, mastered this in this. Because um, I've, I've had their classic cider quite a few times and I, I would say it doesn't really taste like this at all. I mean, I can tell you now, this is uh, not going to take me long to finish at all because it's obviously so easy to drink because there's no alcohol in it, basically. So, well, let's go for a final taste before I find the verdict, anyway. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's no bad tastes to it. I'll, get, I'll give it that. Uh, but if it's trying to say that it's pretty much like their original cider, it's, it is sort of failing on that respect. What you are getting is a very sweet apple juice, essentially. Um, and I suppose that's essentially what most low alcohol and alcohol free ciders are going to be like. But sometimes you can still get that taste of the original cider, and it's not quite in this one, unfortunately. But, with that said, I'm going to get the old uh, chalks out, and let's just see... What do you reckon I'm going to rate this one then? Hmm. Well, for a final verdict, I am going to go and give Sheppy's Low Alcohol Cider da, 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 a 4 out of 10. Uh, I mean, as I said, it does you know, no ill harm. It's not a bad tasting drink. Um, you just obviously can't expect much from, uh, from something like this. And you know what? It, it does its job okay. You know, if you are, for whatever reason, going to have a low alcohol drink tonight, it's not a bad one. Um, and as I said, you can get it from most local Waitrose stores, from as far as I'm aware. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but hopefully not too much. But uh, there we go, you can, uh, you can stay over there, bottle. Uh, so, yeah, with that said, that's another episode of the Blow Alcohol Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty, very much more alcoholic cider soon. But until then, I'm just going to probably gulp this down. So, take care, guys. Till next time.